Hello everyone, welcome back to SDA Tata for QA Automation. If you are new here to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notification of all my latest videos. Today we will be diving into the practical guide of testing a REST API put, patch and delete request using REST Assured. So I'm covering everything from right from setting up environment to writing the uh, REST Assured test cases and executing them uh, using Eclipse IDE in this channel. So let's get started. So what is put, patch and delete? Uh, so put, patch and delete are the HTTP request, HTTP method basically that represent different action when working with data. So put basically replaces an existing. Uh, let me show you like which target, I mean, side I'm going to you know, target uh, in our video. So this is the rec requ uh, request response dot insight where we have list of uh, different uh, method HTTP methods and these are the API endpoints. If you click on these buttons, right, it it is going to tell you like what are the endpoints are there with associated with all those uh, requests. So for this get we have this endpoint. Similarly, like if you come down to put post so this is put patch and delete so these are the endpoints okay so which we are going to you know automate we'll see in our eclipse in our test engine class how we can automate uh, these put patch and delete requests all right so uh, i mean put patch and delete in brief like uh, what it does basically put is uh, nothing but uh, it replaces an existing resources with the updated version with put multiple identical request will have the same effect as a single single request okay so both put and patch both are update if you look at here both are update uh, command update method okay update request while uh, patch updates an existing resources but doesn't require sending the entire body with the request okay and uh, delete what it does it removes the uh, data from the database the server response to the delete request may vary depending on the server's implementation so ideally what it returns is like it returns a 204 uh, http response if you see like here it gives you the response also let us quickly automate this by creating one test ng class so to create that test ng class you have to right click on the src test java and uh, let us right put patch and delete so this is that name of that test ng class which we are going to implement so i'm going to copy uh, everything right from okay let me just copy this thing po post request which we have already uh, seen in my, uh, my previous video so i'm copying everything here and now what you have to do you have to change the name of the class to the class which you have created all right so now uh, let me just remove the existing we actually need those imports so i can just remove this public class okay so these stack static imports these libraries are required for our test so these uh, static imports of rest assured matcher rest assured matches and the hamcrest matcher and the test ng assertions are required all right so uh, we'll just change the name of this request to the uh, put okay uh, let me change this to the put request and i will change this method to put okay so this is going to be my endpoint let us see the endpoint of the put and quickly validate the response so what it is going to return it is going to return a 200 response okay and this is the endpoint let me just click and capture the endpoint so slash user 2 which i'm going to you know pass to the put method okay slash and base uri remains same so let me just remove this api from here and this is going to be your base uri and uh, we are sending everything in the json string so and we are expecting 200 in the response so this 201 for the 200 is for the 201 is for post request right for the successful creation so this should go fine and uh, 
if it goes fine our test will be you know pass yeah but it is failing for some reason so let us quickly check like why it is failed see expected status code is 200 but we are expecting but was 404 there's something uh, seriously gone wrong with it so let us quickly uh, verify the base uri and if there is anything wrong with it so let us see why it has failed the test here let me just include this and quickly try one more time json string put request expected code but was found 400 so uh, there were there was some error uh, with respect to the uh, i think uh, it didn't get saved so this is the uh, perfect uh, base uri there is nothing wrong with it and this is the put uh, which is the end point you have to mention inside uh, put method and we are expecting 200 out of this right so when you click on this when i when you click on this you should get you should get 200 just in case i mean like in the previous uh, run it was actually uh, considering some so somewhere uh, there was uh, some error with the end point and it was not considering the end point properly okay which is why i mean 404 and uh, to get more about those uh, http response status code so you can see like right from 100 to 199 is for informational response and uh, successful response like uh, will be uh, you know from 200 to 299 and redirection uh, lies between 300 to 399 and client error response we got we have got 404 or something right so that is client error response meaning you have done something with uh, your code which is why we were getting you know 400 uh, 404 error in uh, the assertion okay so after you uh, said said that uh, right or you know correct that uh, uh, you know endpoints you are gonna get the successful 200 response for this with that with that let me copy this and create one more method test ng method and i'll give this name i'll give a patch request to this method okay and now instead of put i'm gonna you know just change the method name to uh http method name to patch and i'll see the endpoint <clears throat> so let us quickly see what is the endpoint for this patch both are for the update okay that you know right and you can also see here so it looks like the same endpoint goes for the patch so i can also run this test right so now test ng test ng will be executing uh, two methods one for put and one for patch okay so both are giving me 200 response okay you can validate anything uh, which you get inside the body okay or you can um, basically uh, assert for the status code which is 200 in this case of patch and put okay now uh, see patch comes first and put you know is getting executed uh, in the next attempt so basically until and until you define the priority of the test case right test ng can take the execution in any order okay so to fix that we can probably we can set the priority of the test case so this is the let us see the priority let us write priority one and we will write priority two for this okay then we will create one more method okay and we will set the priority to three and this third one is nothing but my delete request wherein i don't require all these json object request rather i'll start with uh, when okay with the base uri of course i will have this base uri but i don't uh, need this json object okay so now i don't require this given also i will directly start with when rest assured dot when when the user is hitting this endpoint okay delete then he should get this response okay the endpoint for the delete is also user 2 
all right uh, with it uh, we can run the test and i'm leaving this to 200 uh, we know that i mean it is expecting uh, you know 200 right so we can va validate that as well for the delete it should be 204 you can see the response should be 204 let me run and see the priority of the test case also whether it fits to the test ng class or not so ideally it should execute the put then patch and then delete okay and delete should get failed somehow delete is also getting oh we have not changed the patch to delete no so that is the reason <clears throat> so with this i mean this should get failed the third one should get failed we'll correct the response code status code and we will fix the issue see this is getting failed with the expected status code is 200 but was 204 but was 204 okay so actually it's 204 now if i set it to 204 it should pass the test case okay all right so things are sorted now and you can see the console and see the result of test ng okay all right so that's it from the video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in next video until then keep learning and thank you for watching